He's spoken about being at his mother's deathbed and her dying horribly and slowly from a cancer and how it was his responsibility to prepare and then dole out the morphine and how for decades uh, he was haunted by uh, her last moments, how she was in terrible pain and got upstairs as she was just taking her last breaths after spilling the first dose and how the feeling of impotence was what got him into medicine. In my opinion, at that moment, something broke inside his mind. He hit upon this organ transplantation as the unsolvable problem. So the idea that he would have this consuming, I wouldn't call it rage exactly, it's just energy, this fantastically powerful energy. He set about relentlessly to solve this problem. I believe that it was a pain that he felt so deeply that it was almost like he never got over it. His wounds were speaking loud and clear. The intensity with which they spoke and the productivity with which they spoke was astonishing. But so much of what haunted him later in his life and so many of his blind spots came directly from that experience. The time that I was in medical school, I had a dream list. All I wanted to do was to know the cause uh, and to cure one disease, that's all I wanted. It was a modest request, please. <laughs>